What's up guys, this is Sony back with another video and today real quick I just wanted to make this video for you guys because I wanted to share with you guys my new Intel based Hackintosh I recently built and this Hackintosh is running stable with latest Mac OS Mojave uh, 10.14.2 and there is no problem, no bug at all all now i will leave my uh, efi uh, folder in the video description if you guys have similar parts as my hackintosh i recently built you can use the efi uh, for yourself and just throw it in your uh, clover folder and you should be perfectly fine now the parts i use for this hackintosh the motherboard i went with asus prime z370-a motherboard intel core i5 8400 cpu that's a 2.8 uh, base clock with 4 gigahertz but uh the cpu doesn't go all the way up to 4 gigahertz the max turbo boost will get around uh, 3.8 gigahertz but that's more than enough and at this very moment i'm just running 8 gigs of ram uh corsair vengeance lpx uh 8 gigs of rams and my 40 dollar uh, asus rx580 8 gig and the system is running flawlessly so the reason i needed a stable running uh hackintosh because i play around with xcode a lot and also whenever you are like you know using xcode to basically uh render your uh application and stuff and you are running the latest mac os uh software works a little better and also i needed uh, this computer to run the latest mac os mojave now the ryzen tosh i had recently i built with amd ryzen 7 1700x cpu i couldn't i couldn't uh install the latest mac os mojave i tried the system wasn't running stable so that's the reason guys i'm not using the ryzen tosh and that's the reason i built this uh intel based hack and tosh also, I wanted to compare this Intel-based Hackintosh I recently built for $700 with the uh, latest uh, Mac Mini 2018, uh, the six-core Mac Mini, uh, goes for around $1,100. Now, mind you, I built this computer for $700, and this computer performed almost same as the $1,100 or $1,200 Mac Mini. Now, guys, let's not waste any more time, and let me just go through the... Uh, you know benchmark for you guys so the first benchmark i ran uh nova benchmark i uh, scored around uh 1745 the cpu score was around 798 the ram score was 244 and the gpu score was around uh, 558 and the disk score was 145 now uh the new mac mini does have a very fast hard drive uh because of they use the new uh, t2 chip and the t2 chip is really fast so uh, my mac mini i used a cheap m.2 not even a samsung uh, uh, m.2 and i'm getting around uh, 476 uh, mb of uh, write speed and 1532 uh, read speed now let's just jump into Geekbench real quick. You guys can see the single core score is around 5,633. The multi-core score is around 23,120. So almost same as the 2018 uh, six core Mac mini. Uh, jump into Cinebench score real quick. You guys can see OpenGL score is around uh, 128 and the CPU multi-core score is around 979. And let's just you guys can see right here uh, the system is running the latest Mac OS Mojave version 10.14.2 latest and uh, the processor uh, I'm running Intel Core i5 uh, 8400 the base clock is around 2.8 gigahertz and the boost clock is around uh, 4 gigahertz and at this very moment I only have 8 gigs of RAMs laying around so I'm running Corsair Vengeance LPX uh, 3000 megahertz ramps uh, uh xmp profile is uh enabled so that's why the ram speed is set to uh 3000 megahertz and the graphics card i am using uh asus uh radeon rx 580 8 gig 
and you guys can see the last test I ran comparing uh, with my uh, Ryzen Tosh. So basically, with the Intel, uh, with this Intel-based hack and Tosh, I can take advantage of the Intel Quick Sync. So you guys can see I compare my Ryzen Tosh with uh, Intel Z370. Uh, I tested, uh, I rendered a uh, 1080p H.264 uh, video, 10 minute video. Uh, with the Ryzen Tosh, it took uh, 17 minutes, and the Intel Z370, uh, the Intel based computer, took around 11 minutes. Yeah, guys, so the main reason I use this Hackintosh for basically, I use Final Cut to edit most of my video now i used to use my uh macbook air 2014 this thing comes with like a dual core processor uh core i5 and four gigs of ram and kind of slow so i was like why not uh build myself a budget hackintosh uh that's the reason i built this hackintosh for 700 dollar and so I can basically use Final Cut and render my videos faster with Intel Quick Sync and also I can play around with Xcode. Now guys, this should be it uh, for this video. If you guys have any other question, leave in the comment below. If you guys want to see like a detailed guide or basically how to, uh, just give this video a big thumbs up and if you are new uh, and watching me for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, show your support. See you guys next one. Peace.